Hello and welcome to this small tutorial about how to use voxel tools to create a scene like this. What I basically did was create a simple world with noise using some law generator as you can see. There's a 3D player character that I can move around and with my gun I can shoot once everything is properly loaded and create basically like dig in the ter terrain much more can be done but this will be a simple tutorial to get to this point so first thing that i'll do is just create a new scene new 3d scene and we'll instantiate the voxel part of the scene to do that you actually need a specific version of godot because this tool is not available through the asset lib this tool is actually a module built into the Godot core code. So that basically it means that you need to recompile Godot. So instead of recompiling, we'll just download from the internet from this repository. So this is the repository of the plugin. It's not actually a plugin, it's called a module. You could just read the documentation and see how to build for your own. But what I'll do is come here to releases no not releases actions windows build if you have linux it's here also if you want mono it's here mac is not here unfortunately uh if you have a mac you'll need to build it for yourself so in my case it's windows and i'll just click on the most recent one say this one and download this opt tools version with this, I'll have the editor with this plugin or module built in. Notice that there's no template here to export. We'll get to that in a later tutorial. And once you have your editor downloaded and open, just create a new spatial node and within it, you'll have access to voxel nodes like this. You'll want to create a lot terrain. You can also do it with a terrain. It's similar in a certain way, but lot is more optimized for huge worlds if you want to have a long view distance. Next, to create the mesh itself, you use this generator portion. I'll just use a flat one to start things off. As you can see, it's just a flat terrain. And I'll now include some player characters that I can move. Obviously you can use your own or create your own, but what I suggest at least for prototyping is just search for FPS. And you can use this controller or this controller as you wish. So I'm using this one, just click here, download, install, and I already have it all installed. So this is why it's red. But just install everything will be inside this player folder. Once you install, you have this player folder here. Going back to my scene, I can just drag and drop this player character, uh, which should actually be here. I'll make sure that he appears. Okay, he is above the ground. And to make sure that I can see the voxel from within the character, I need to come here editable as children and where the camera is i'll add another child node with this voxel viewer so this voxel viewer will be what allows me to see the environment and let's see if i have collisions enabled okay so all seems fine i'll just create a little test scene for me to debug with you and here we are we have a scene where i have a blank world that is infinite okay so I, I want something more interesting than just this so i'll close my scene so here it's closed i can go back to my law terrain and change this generator to something else you'll notice that mesh is automatically set as the transvoxel which is fine and in this generator i'll change to noise you'll see some weird things are going on above i'll change the settings within here just click here click and open simple noise or not here actually these two i will change the minimum to minus 50 and the maximum to 100. just save and click here in terrain regenerate and now have an interesting terrain to work with 
you can move the train but i actually want to move the player i'll just move the player to above this place here just because it's fun to watch things from above save i'll run the scene again and nice now i have an interesting mesh to to work with next thing i'll do is to edit the ground by shooting at it you can see that the the fps controller already comes with a shooting mechanic so just make sure to make the shooting do what it wanted to do and edit the terrain so to do this i'll go first into the player and i need to edit how the shoot works just to make sure that the information from the shot comes out of it so i've already done this but what we need to do is add a shot hit or some kind of signal coming out from this spawn impact so just in the beginning of the file create a new signal with a position this is the main thing collider is just for testing purposes in my own and here in spawn impact inside this if make sure to send the signal with the collision point of the ray cast as it is over here so if you save here and click here in shoot you can come here in node signals and you have the shot hit so i'll create a new script in my main scene come here back to shoot double click here and oops not this i did it wrong disconnect double click and i want the spatial which is my world to receive the position where my shot happens i'll also do a o on ready var voxel to get my voxel terrain data so here's voxel terrain if i do this from within the shoot signal i can get voxel tool which is a helper class from within the the module the plugin which can do many things you can look up in the documentation for that so just keep track of it and say i want to do a sphere in wherever this position is with radius 2.5 something like this if i save and run the same scene and something important that i need to do is wait for it to completely load you see the lod is still loading i'll probably fix this in a future video but for now i need to wait it it's probably finished now let's see yeah and i actually created <laughs> i created matter from within my scene so let's do something different so by default this thing creates matter to remove matter i need to set mode if i'm not mistaken uh let me get my <laughs> my little thing i yes i need to change this mode to mode remove so just go back here to my code and do this mode mode remove there are several modes here add remove set you can paint with it and other things feel free to take a look on the documentation to see so with remove now actually remove matter from the world when i shoot so I'm just once again waited for full load make one more there we go and now i'm creating holes wonderful last thing that i'll talk about will be the texturing and i won't do it myself mainly because since this is a procedurally generated mesh i would need a similarly procedurally generated texture to go on top of it by looking at the documentation the ideal or simplest way to do this is using shaders by going to this specific example repository of how to do fps there are more examples here if you want to take a look i'll gather the information from within the materials and textures folder so in textures has a bunch of say pngs with rocks and grass and in materials there is 
like a material and a triplane or shader to utilize multiple textures around the mesh. I won't explain this, but you feel free to take a look on the documentation on how this works. So just by downloading these two things back to my code, I already have it here. You see in level extra, yeah. I have all the textures in here, which are the PNG files. And I have, for example, this grass rock material. If I right you know, double click here, go back to inspector, I can see that the top is grass and around it is rock. Feel free to take a look on how the shader work. It expects several, many things. I don't understand shaders properly, but maybe in the future, I'll actually be able to explain this. <laughs> But considering that you have this, you can use materials and drag and drop this into materials. Terrain, regenerate, and here we go. We got our end result. Wait for it to load. And this is all. More things that you can do is add light and put some light in your terrain, maybe like this. You can add environment node and edit your environment like this too and go wild. Enjoy your freedom with this immense, infinite, generative world just for you. Thank you for watching.